Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. And we can't wait to call the ocean our home. But for that, we still need to finish bringing our Rex schooner back to life. Luckily, we found an amazing team of Brazilian shipwrights who have been working their magic throughout this rebuild using simple tools, ancient knowledge, and a lot of passion. Join us on this thrilling journey and wish, wish us luck! luck. <laughs> <laughs> Because of the boats are in place, all the covering boards all around the full contour of the boat, you say it like that? The whole shape of the boat all around. The next step is the most annoying one, which is making the holes for the columns of the bulwark. So now we have one team there making the holes and another team there working on the columns that will be installed on those holes. until they're really screwed in where they should be so that's why we had the factory going around for wedges right now and so we're gonna use it to install the column are you such a big fan of wedgies? The last cabeza, the last column is being installed here. Over here we have Ben working with dough, playing with dough. Play dough. Play dough. What are you doing? So all these 
coverboard is being fastened onto the boat now and we were waiting for the Sikaflex that we used to dry so we could sand off the tops and now I'm applying this epoxy mixed with the same sawdust as the boat. The epoxy does make it darker but here we're actually just going to paint over it and it's not going to stay a bare wood colour. So making it all smooth so later we can sand it all down, fill the holes, fill the holes, sand it all down and then it will be ready to be painted over. Just got a few more holes to do but I don't want to get in their way. So I'll go around the boat and I'll check if I find some more holes to fill. That's it. Can and you fill there. these holes? And, over, and we need maybe one, three more deck planks. But guess what? We're out of them. Again. So the boat's nearly finished. We nearly finished the deck, but we can't finish the deck. Aww. The usual thing. Oh well, we've got plenty of other stuff to do. You have to do another step with him. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. You know how to do it. Come. Come. <laughs> He's doing it. <laughs> One more. I don't know if you remember but when installing these columns we have a team up here and a team down there helping hammering up or to the side or to the other to really put some place. You see here Nez and Nico and there you see the hand of Luis. Two centimeters more or less. And that's yeah, yeah, how it goes. Oh, did I paint that way? I got it. I got it. <laughs> I said that one was the last one, but I didn't notice this one was still out of place. She's a liar. I'm a liar. Well, I was confused. She's a liar. She's a liar. So, I'm, do you know how MP says chameleon? Is it chameleon? Say it. She's a liar. I'm going to show you. I high five all this team. This is the only part that doesn't have it. All the other parts have it. And I'm really, really, really enjoying it. So what is, what are these columns? Are they going to keep water out or something? They are going to what? What are these columns for? They're going to hold our boat work, which is like the fence of the boat. Fence. Is it like the fence? That. Is it dirty? Yeah. Probably sick of legs then. This is something there. In here. There. There. <laughs> so what Kai and I are about to show here are our last deck planks. We finally finished the covering board, so we can finally finish the deck. We had about four planks missing, 
there are probably these four over here and when they are ready it will be ready and our deck will be fully complete and done and ready and amazing and beautiful and everything else if you are wondering what that background noise is the saw is being sharpened again As you can see, our starboard deck is so complete. If you come here to the bow, it's also all complete. And now port will soon be complete as well. So most of these columns or most of the bulwark will be at a slight angle or even vertical. However, the ones above the transom, we want to be a continuation of the line of the transom to make it look nice. And also we'll have, it's where we'll have lots of seating area and storage. So it'd be nice to have it out a bit. So instead of having these columns built out with a angle inside it to follow the shear plank and then what comes above, these ones that are gonna go by the transom are just a complete straight line as the line will just continue the bulwark will be an extension of the transom above the cover board and i hope that made sense but have a look and when on when it's on the boat you'll see what i meant hopefully <laughs> So up there on the boat, the last four deck planks being laid. Over here, the last four of these columns being made for the bulwark. And then all we're missing from the boat structure is the bulwark itself and the top plank of the superstructure, the housing area. Apart from that, I guess it's all luxuries. I mean, I guess the window is not luxury, but apart from that, it's all just adding on bit by bit to our taste. But this and the deck planks and the last plank of the housing area is the last <laughs> definition of the boat, like a boat build, I think. Yeah, and the rudder.
we have this column happening over here that blink happening over there and me not knowing what to film because I don't know what you want to see more <laughs> Even Toninha's down there closer. Yeah. So, so yeah. we've got someone making the cabezas, someone, two people doing planks. Three people in planks. I was busy sorting out some stuff, the like B-roll stuff or even C-roll stuff, which you won't even get to see. <laughs> it's not as important as what they're doing. But everyone's here and it's amazing. And it's nearly time to go and get some beers. 15 more minutes and tomorrow's another day. Plank. We should have a plank to walk somewhere off the trans, off the uh, platform. It's like an extra plank that we take with us for every, whoever's been naughty. And a diving plank on the roof. Oh, I'm coming up with ideas as we go along. Thumbs up if you think we should have a diving plank on the roof and a walking walk the plank down there. We are all putting the tools away now because it's the end of the day. It was a bit chaotic, but so much fun to be everyone together at the same spot working. And it was difficult to show, but I can show you now. So we have over here, those two columns of like the continuation of the transom going up. We still will need another two, one here, another one there. And we also got those two new planks over here. which are looking fantastic in my opinion because I am in love with my boat I'm sorry I cannot help it <laughs> so that was it for today and let's see what tomorrow has for us bye so here we are on starboard and the deck is completely done here in the bow the deck is completely done and the most amazing thing is that now on board we only have one last plank and then the whole boat will be done so i'm gonna show you that to you now and i'm super excited about it because we were really looking forward to having a deck that I almost feel like throwing another whiskey party because it's um, just a last plank, a whiskey plank maybe when you finish your deck the last plank of the deck also can, I don't know, be called a whiskey plank I don't know but I'm really really happy about this I'm super excited the deck's looking super beautiful in my opinion and let's go for the next phase now I'm so happy and the coolest thing is that here our aft started also gaining shape with all these templates being done 
where the bulwark and everything will come. You know that feeling about celebrating too soon? So I was just over the moon about us installing the last plank of our deck and Elio just found a rotten plank that will get replaced now. So that was the last one, but now we'll have another last one so we can celebrate again. <laughs> You can see here how these buttons help uh, show exactly where this should go and that's what they're making on this other side as well. I didn't even get sad about having to replace another deck plank because I blink my eyes and it's ready. They just need to nail it down and it's already in place. So I'm very thankful for having such an amazing team that leaves me worry-free now that I know exactly how they work and how fast they are and how things are not really a problem for them. They are always looking for the solution. So yeah, now we finally have our deck and it's complete and it's awesome. So I came down here to try to explain something. So those four, one, two, three, four, they go all the way through inside the hole. But the edgy ones, they don't. And why? Because they wouldn't be able to. You see, we don't have the physical space for it to happen here. If they had to go through, they'll come outside the boat. And that wouldn't work. So that's why those tip ones that and that they are just in a little hole that was made for them for them to fit nicely but not go all the way through today filming was opa it's dirty okay today filming was very challenging because we had too many things happening at the same time and i found both things that were happening as exciting as each other so i didn't know which one i should film first and which one I should miss because I'm alone and the reason I'm alone is Ben had to fly back home his home which means Belgium because he had to sort some stuff out and some family business so I'm alone now for the next two weeks and I'm a bit nervous I'm a bit feeling the pressure of having to film everything by myself and I hope I do a good job for you guys and also for Ben so he doesn't get upset with me <laughs> and yeah wish me luck Another amazing day, actually another amazing week has come to an end and it was an amazing week indeed. We did all those columns that were left from before that we couldn't finish because we also managed to install discovering board. That meant we could finally finish our deck and also finish the covering board in the aft so we could install the columns there and everything is looking so pretty and I'm overwhelmed by the prettiness of this boat and the work everyone did this week so see you next time and I really hope you enjoyed this episode and yeah, bye! Thank you so much for joining us on our adventure supporting our journey Gary, Ludwig, Alan, Robert, Blair Roger, Mauricio, Kevin, Stanley, and Dred and Judy. Go! What? <laughs> hey, Sibby.